Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, December 6th. It's, uh, wait a second. Let me go to the time. 6.33 by uh, Verizon. Uh, I'd like to call to order of the uh, Call to order the uh, Sunderland Select Board meeting. Our first order of business for this evening will be to approve the minutes of November 29th, 2021. I motion we approve the minutes. Second. Okay, we have a motion made and seconded to approve the minutes of the uh, November 29th, 2021 meeting. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Jeff, we got a three zero on that. This evening, we have the great honor privilege of meeting with the esteemed board of assessors and more importantly the assessor's clerk assistant assessor okay, <laughs> okay. so uh and we are going to do a cl tax classification hearing so assessors take it away all right so um, this is my first year in Sunderland here, but this is not my first classification hearing. Um, so did they tell you that usually the uh, assessors bring their board of select board coffees? And that... You know, they, I didn't get that memo, you know. These guys are supposed to, you know, remind me of that. Who's a chair? Who's a chair? <laughs> Must be Mary Ann. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Dave. So, um, I, I believe... Uh, I emailed, uh, emailed Jeff the classification summary, and you should have a copy of that in front of you, I believe. We do. Okay. Thank you. Um, I guess it's a little bit more information than uh, you've normally been given. Um, uh, I'm used to, you know, my own towns giving more information than is necessary, but uh, we'll just um, do the important stuff. Um, so to summarize, uh, residential values for fiscal 22, uh, total Four hundred thirty-eight million seven seventeen six eighty-three, um, and I did my math wrong on the other side there. That should be four. Sorry. No. FY twenty-two values increased approximately twelve percent, um, and the commercial values uh, increased approximately six percent. Um, the board recommends a single t tax rate for all classes of property. Uh, it's recommended that there should be at least a 20 to 25% commercial base before considering a split tax rate. In Sunderland, 90% of the tax burden is borne by residential property owners and 10% is carried by all other classes of property. Uh, the tax burden does not increase revenue and merely shifts the same burden to other taxpayers. Um, a shift of potential potentially nullify any tax savings with chapter land properties. Um, and the board, once again, recommends a single tax rate for all classes of property. So, so I, get, I just have one question. Well, I'll probably end up with more than one, but one to start, how's that day? So, um, when, when you're looking at, you talk about doing a split tax rate, mm -hmm. You're, you're talking um, is recommended that there should be at least a 20 25 percent commercial base before considering a split why would that be Dave um, because basically what will happen um, the, the burden more on the commercial properties at that point um, so if you're looking at say fifteen dollars for a single tax rate a split tax rate might be Ten dollars for residential and twenty dollars for commercial. Um, it, it basically um, would drive a lot of commercial out of town um, for for town like Sunderland. Um, and we just don't have the commercial. We don't, you know. We're I'm, I'm just, just we're a sleepy <laughs> residential town with no homes and. You know, you know, no, I was just, I was just, I was just, I, 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 I had never seen it written that way. I mean, I just think it, I mean, we want economic development and I would think, I would think if you had a split tax where you, I mean, you know, you're shifting more of the burden, burden to commercial that right. uses less of the services, right. I mean, that doesn't seem fair to me, but. Yeah. I think Holyoke might have a split tax rate. Cause well, one of the neighbors, one of our neighbors to the yeah, south just, just did that. It. 
They did. Yeah. They did, but they have a lot more commercial property than we do. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah, because here you're spreading it out. If you did it now, it's among such a teeny tiny exactly. sector. Yeah, they'd, they'd get clobbered. I, I just think it's an interesting. I, I just, it's I mean, if you look at ask. what commercial utilizes, I mean, they don't use schools. Right. Right? Right. So. All right. So, um, yeah, so it basically just up to the um, select board now to vote to uh, keep a single tax rate or, you know, vote to go with a split, which is not recommended, but, you know, certainly your call. Okay. Anything else you guys wanted to add? Usually, usually if our, our board of assessors make a recommendation. Uh, well, we recommend the single tax rate for all classes of property. Uh, the, the, other, the other three, the open space discount, there's no open space in town. Um, I don't know of any towns that have an open space. Um, and the residential exemption and small commercial exemptions, again, kind of apply to those towns that have the split tax rate. So we just don't have the base for any of that. So the uh, Board of Assessors recommends a single tax rate for all classes of property. No open space discount, no residential exemption, and no small commercial exemption. Crystal, what do you think? This is your first classification here. <laughs> makes sense not to have a split rate, things like that. All makes sense. So. Davey, anything? Any comments? No, it's we don't have a, we don't have a huge change in that aspect from year to year, really. So yeah, um, but we did have a good. Summer revalue the town yep. throughout rather than just a section of the Right, it was the whole town. We tried our best. Well, well, the yeah, uh, Bishop Associates, they, they basically went out and um, did a re re um, reassessment of all, of all properties in town. So yep. we got a lot of new growth out of that, and uh, everything should be up to date now. Good. So, any other, any other thing you want to hit on about uh, anything that's going on no, with you guys? We, or? we submitted what we developed over the summer mm -hmm. and final calculations made early this fall. We went into the, to the Department of Revenue and said this is what we have and waited for their approval. And I guess that's yeah, this year uh, was a revaluation year, um, which this used to be every three years. The state has now gone every five years, right. yeah. so we won't have to deal with this again until 27. Um, and uh, but it actually went really smooth. Um, I was surprised by how smooth it went. Um, I didn't expect us to be here for another couple of weeks. But I'm glad that we are here because um, the chances of getting tax bills out for January 1st are very uh, promising. So. Good. Yeah. Uh, I'll make a motion to. Uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, uh, just a clarifying question: the um, <clears throat> resident, the reassessment residential values increased by about 50 million, and uh, commercial industrial by about three million. That, do you know how much of that is new growth versus? Not offhand, but okay. I can get you that number. I, no, I'm just curious because you well, mentioned it, it's it, new it, growth, it, but it's not. It'd be, it'd be good for us to know, though, because that. Right. We are going to need to know it for yeah, absolutely. The, the budget. Yeah, stuff, I can yeah. get you that number. Yeah. yeah. Remind me on, on Wednesday when we're here to do that. Okay. Yeah, so, so I, I, I was just, on, on the, the summary, the the numbers just didn't match up. I was yeah. I, I realized that as I was sitting here reading it, and I was like trying to do it in my head. I'm like, oh my god, never mind. I'm just gonna say. So <laughs> I did it on this because I, I looked at it. I said, oh my god, I did. Hey, we want to. There was a two hundred million dollar difference in the yeah, evaluation. No, I was like, holy I, moly. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but um, so 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 basically, and again, you know. Are, you're able to look at the tax rate now, right? Sort of. Yeah. Um, and the tax now, because the valuations went up, and we can only increase our over bu budget by two and a half percent. Actually, our tax rate should be going. The tax rate, not your tax bill, but your tax, tax rate, rate, will be going 
down. I do believe that is true. Let me just pull it up on my phone. Like a small here. amount, I would think. Yeah. It, it's got to go down. Yeah. A little bit. Uh, I am waiting for the accountant to just verify the numbers, but yeah. um, right now the estimated tax rate is 1413. So we're going down about a dollar. I was going to say, because I thought yeah, it was that's just why, that's why I say bucks. estimated yeah. because yeah. there's still no. some more holes to fill. Because we're yeah. a little over 15 now. Yeah, right? 1549. So I, I have a feeling that's going to change. Right? Yeah. Uh, like I said, the account Yeah, stuff. so it's a little, it's like, yeah. going to do his thing. But, so, it, but I would say it, it is going to go down. So, and, and again, I, I it, people, our residents may sometimes, it's not that we can, all the numbers are set by the state. So we can, and that, that stuff, you don't want people to get confused. So your tax. When they see their assessed value of the homes go up, but the tax tax rate the rate yeah, is going to go down. Usually, it's a seesaw. When the values go up, the tax rate goes down. When the tax rate, when values go down, the tax rate goes up. So, and I'm you know, I'm sure at this time of year you probably see a lot more people because they have those questions, yeah. right? When you do an evaluation, yeah. so okay. So we just need a motion for a single tax rate. Yep. Motion. I second it. All right, so, so the assessors have made a presentation concern about the uh, tax allocation. Their recommendation is that we maintain a uh, single tax rate across the town. There's no, does not appear there's any uh, dissent among the board of selectmen for that. So we have a motion made and seconded to recommend and to vote on a single tax rate for all classes of property. All those in favor of single tax rate for all classes of property signify by saying aye. 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 Jeff, three zero. Anything else, Mr. and Board of Assessors? I can actually um, give you the new growth number right now. Give me one second. Yeah. So we had 3.4 million uh, in new growth uh, in, in uh, valuation. 2.4? 3,000 taxes. 3.3449583 is the total number. And fifty thousand dollars right. additional right. revenue. That's right. Well, that's that's kind of, it's no. well, it's just important to us. Okay. All right. All right. So we have a single tax tax rate. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Guys. Thank you, assessors. Thank David. You very much. Thank, Thank you very much. Great. All right. Next, the uh, 2022 license renewal. Crystal was shocked this evening when she saw a stack about <laughs> three quarters of an inch. It was about that high, was it? I think. It felt <laughs> like it was that <laughs> high. Because your hand has to be signed. <laughs> so uh, no. um, she's planning on the next couple of days to start signing. So. <laughs> we usually all take days off to do that, Crystal. Yeah. Anyway, all right, Jeffrey, what do you got? Uh, do you want me to yes, read please. through the list? Yep. Okay. So there are. <laughs> Uh, alcohol licensees, uh, Billy's Beverage, Blue Heron, Bridgeside Grill, Bub's Barbecue, Go Ten Steakhouse, Golf Mart, The O's, The Spirit Shop, and The Sunderland Corner Store. Um, so, so can I ask a question before yes. you continue? So, did all of our, did we have any businesses alcohol-wise not renew their licenses this year? No. 
They're all renewed. Yes. Okay. Um, yes, everything is the same. There is no no new additional and. Um, and that's fine. I was just I was yep. just wondering if everybody uh, still in, after the COVID thing. Yep. Okay. Thank um, you. For class two licenses, um, all states, JR Service and Roy's Automotive. And then the non alcohol common Victualler, um, Dove's Nest, Dunkin' Donuts, Frontier Pizza, Mike's Maze, Millstone Market, Smirowski Farm Stand, Subway, Sugarloaf Frosty, Sunderland Market, and Wild Roots Cafe and Market. And I'll just Note that um, we've not received applications from two, and I believe in the past when we haven't gotten the applications in, um, the select board has either delayed voting on those licenses or voted contingent on them coming in in a timely manner. Yeah. Um, yeah, because then we can do the whole slate with those contingent. Right. Yeah. Um, do you want me to identify those? You don't have to. Any questions? So just so everybody knows, so so the it, while it, it's a lot of times it's a it's a formal it, it's a formal um, renewal of the licenses here. Um, if if you had a technically if you had a concern with the license e you could come to the board's meeting and you could express that um, because one of the things especially is that you're a good character the people getting the licenses are, are members of the community in good character so um, sometimes it could prove interesting to have a discussion but uh, you could so all right so at this time then we're looking at alcohol licenses for Billy's Beverage, Blue Heron, Bridgehead Grill, Bob's Barbecue, Go Tin Steakhouse, Golf Mart, the Seven O or the O, excuse me, Spirit House, Sun and Corner Store, Class Two, Automotive for All States, JRs, Roy's, and Non-Alcohol, Common Vic, Two Dove's Nest, Dunkin' Donuts, Frontier Pizzas, Mike Mays, Millstone Market, Simros Farm Sand, Subway, Sugar Loaf Frosty, Sunland Market, Wild Roots. Cafe and market. I'll entertain a motion. Uh, motion. I right, second. A motion made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. The uh, next up is uh, unpaid sewer charges to the tax bill. What do you have on that one, Jeff? Um, we have an updated list um, that we got. Uh, well, there, there have been a couple updates since last week. Um, updated ownership information, and then one of the properties has paid their um, sewer bill. So. But there may be additional concerns with the list. No, I'm looking at it and I see a couple that I knew are different. Okay. Now. Okay. So, so what do you want done with these now? So, um, I think I would. I know. Think I would. I would like the select board to consider voting on whether or not to add the sewer fees to the next year's tax bills. We did this last year, right, didn't we? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This year there are 19 so the properties and there's about, including um, the, the bills um, plus interest, there's about uh, $10,000 in outstanding sewer bills so if we did this last year how come some people have two four unpaid bills uh it's the i believe it's based on the amount of uh um 
connections? Is that right? Because they 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 can have multiple connections at their property. Yeah. So I think that it, um, there's a column that says amount. Yes. And I think that that determines. Okay, so that's not the number of past due bills. That's okay. correct. Like I'm looking here, and like see this one here says four. Yeah. I'm just wondering if those were that many bills in arrears. Oh, yeah. Jeff no, so clarified it, it, and said it's that many. It'll tell you how much. It tells you how much, but it won't tell you. It the uh, but it tells you how many units under the amount. Yes. Yeah. So so you'll see like the the third one down yeah. shows two. It's probably a duplex. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, any discussion about that? No. So my only con or my only question is, a couple of these people you just recently, you know, were able to ascertain who it is that the property owner is currently. Yes. So should those few people be sent another notice before it's added? Could, yeah. Or does it not really? You know. I I I basically think that they get, you're going to get paid one way or the other, right? So if they pay it between now and when the tax bills go out, that's fine, right? Yeah. But, but otherwise, it's just on there, right? As an addition. No, I, I don't have I don't have a problem with doing it. No, it it's it's it needs to be done, and what we did, yeah. It's it's fine. Okay. On a motion. Motion. I second. And a motion made and seconded to include the uh, late sewer fees with the tax bill. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero, Jeff. Okay, next up is uh, the Award Riverside Building Improvement Contract. Yes, so uh, as you likely recall, um, we went out to bid a few months ago, um, and unfortunately the bids came back a lot higher than we anticipated, so we, um, I recommended that we not award the contract and we reject all bids and rebid, which we did. Um, basically removed the renovation of the restrooms from the project. Um, so it, it's just the kayak, at this point it's just the kayak kiosk and uh, s some pathway improvements to the dugouts on the ball field, to the restrooms, um, and then the walkway down the, the boat ramp. Those came in um, within budget, and um, we could we had a couple of alternatives baked into it um, that the library had recruited some volunteers to to uh, accomplish. Um, and the first alternate was to actually construct the boxes that were going to be seating and kayak storage. Um, and based on the low bid amount and the first alternate. Um, the, the low bid for the base bid and the first alternate, we think, I'm confident that the budget can allow us to accept both the, the low bid and the first alternate for that. Um, so I, I called uh, a few of the references. Um, by the way, the, the low bidder is, um, I'm going to hopefully say this right, Maroy Construction, Maroy. which is the or a company that's doing Sanderson Place at 120 North Main. Hmm. So they're already in, um, called the references both on that project and they did some work in Hatfield and I called them and they did not raise any concerns that they wouldn't be able to accomplish the project in the time period. So okay. um, still working on getting the actual contract itself for, for you to sign, but yep. um, I, I think we want we want to move it as move forward as quickly as possible, given the numerous delays and the June first deadline for <laughs> for the grant yeah, and get getting everything in. done. So uh, I am recommending that the so the town award the contract to Maroy Construction, um, 
and as soon as the contract is available and we have them sign it and we have everything we need, then we can move forward and start pre-construction meetings and hopefully see if there's anything that we can um, get done. Before the winter, like prep work or something. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, they'd probably hit it in the spring with the bulk of the work, I would think, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and talk to them about, is there... There's a lot of woodworking. Can you do that in the shop and then, you know, over the winter and then right. bring it right to here. the site and assemble and yep. start having those conversations? Okay. okay. You want an award then? That's what I'm recommending, yes. Okay. Motion. I motion <laughs> we award the contract to Morris. Second. All right, so we have a, a recommendation that... Uh, uh, Maroy Construction is the apparent low bid, qualified low bid for the Riverside Building Improvement Contract um, and recommendation from Town Administrator to award. I have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero, Jeff. Thank you. And just to clarify, that's the base bid and the first alternate as recommended, right? The four alternates, right? Correct. The Correct. first, just the first. The f number one alternate. Number one, yeah. yeah. So that will be in the motion. Okay, to award with the first alternate. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Next. Uh, board updates, David. Uh, we had our first um, full Union Thirty Eight negotiation meeting last week, so off to a good start. I think we have another one. I feel like it's next week or so, or the week after. So. No, fourteenth. That's the next one. So, so far so good. Though it was a good first step. So, okay, Crystal. Personal committee meeting. Just before this one, what'd you learn? Still working on working okay. on stuff. All right, Jeff. Uh, town administrate updates. Uh, I don't think I have any this week. Um, I, the well, I will give one. Um, uh, the contractors on North Main were installing those additional drains. Yeah. Um, and I know we didn't get nearly as much rainfall, but I, I wanted to drive by this morning because there was a little bit of rain, and I, it's yeah, I, it's like not it. comparable, but it, you know everything appeared to be draining. Although I did notice there were some structures that still had silt fence, not silt fences, but silt bags around them, and mm -hmm. so I'm gonna follow up with them and see when they were I, it lo also looked like they were cleaning out some of the structures this morning so um, until, until the grass grows it's very hard to take the silk bags out okay. yeah and then all, all the dirt washes. will just wash right into them yeah, yeah. yeah. so they may be may, they may be looking for although it's very difficult to have silk bags in a catch basin over when it freezes too so it doesn't yeah. drain so well then no it does not no. very at all okay um, and then the only other update would be go pats. There you go. Is that, is that okay to say? Um, yeah. Um, Jeff and I also had a uh, uh, our first negotiation with our potential uh, cannabis dispensary. Um, so we're we're looking at the host agreement, and so. We made a, we made a, we, we discussed the entire agreement and there are some things they agreed with and some things they didn't. Can you imagine that? Uh, you know, part um, of the course. So now, so they, now they, they just sent back something. So uh, we're going to look at Jeff and I will talk it, talk it over and we'll see and then when we'll take our next step. But there's really not a lot. I. I believe, and we've discussed as a board, that our, you know, we do have concerns that it is on 116 and in the access in and out of it. Um, so, 
we will continue. That will be a continued area of concern for us. So, as and, and again, that is a sum of it will be covered under the zoning board um, or planning board. I think it's mostly the zoning board. That being said, so we don't want to. We want to make sure everybody is well aware of our concerns on that road. So, and and even even now, you look at look at, you look at the road and. You, you know, people are starting to cross, or cross that road outside of the crosswalks. And that usually is a troublesome thing. So, anyway, we'll talk about that. All right, anything else? Um, we, we haven't really talked COVID recently at the select board meetings, I don't think. And I just figure it's worth mentioning that the uh, Omicron, is that the, the latest? Uh -huh. Omicron? Omicron. Omicron. Yeah. However you pronounce it, the latest variant yeah. of concern. Something, something from the Transformers. They did. Sci-fi. They found the first, identified a fir their first case in Massachusetts late last week. So just not out of the woods yet. Um, yep. You know, d keep, keep staying vigilant. Um, Get your boosters. Yeah. Got mine Friday, so. Yeah. We're good. Two minutes in and out. All right. Anything else? No, that's it. All right. Without hearing anything else, we'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Uh, motion. Second. Yeah, motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Jeff, 3 0. Please uh, call us out at 7 04. Thanks, John.